In this video, I'm going to show you how to find scholarly journal articles on your topic. So let me share my screen. I'm on the Art 102 online research guide, and I'm looking at the Find Articles tab. If I scroll down, I'm going to see a list of databases that we recommend for students who are doing research in art history. Um, and you can see there's several of them here. And databases are just collections of information, so you can kind of think about it as different stores at the mall. Um, if you're looking for a bathing suit, you're not going to go to the Apple store. You have to go to a store that sells bathing suits, and the bathing suit selection at Macy's is going to be different than that one at Nordstrom, right? So the, the database we recommend that you start with first that has the most information related to art history is this one, Art and Architecture Source. If you click on the link to this when you're at home, or really for any library resource, um, you will probably be asked to log in using the same username and password you use for Canvas. So I'm already logged in, so it's not asking me to do that, but you might see that screen and that's the information you put there. So now I'm looking at a simple search box and I'm gonna start off, um, I'm doing research on Hieronymus Bosch and I'm um, focusing on the unusual style and iconography that he uses. So I'm going to do a simple search. First, I have the name of my artist, and I have it in quotes because in this case, it's really important that those two words come to show up next to each other. And then I want to limit it to things about the iconography. If, they, if I can find any articles on that, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm going to hit the search button. So um, I have 10 results, and I still want to limit it a little bit more. So I want to limit to full text because I only want to see um, results for things that I own. And I also want to limit to peer-reviewed um, because I, I need scholarly journal articles, and peer review is the process where um, writers in a specific field submit their works and other experts in the field review it to see if it's a good quality, and that's called peer review. So now I'm down to two articles, but these look like they're really going to discuss what I'm interested in. So it, this one explains the iconography of the Garden of Earthly Del Delights triptych. So that's a, a three painting, a three panel painting, and I saw that in my art history book. So if this looks interesting to me, I'm going to click on the title, and then I can get to the full text by clicking this link here on the left. And once I'm in here, um, I've got the full text of the article before me, and there's a bunch of things I can do. I can download it, I can print, I can share it to my Google Drive, and the thing that you guys will like the most is um, it will also tell me how to cite the article according to Chicago, right? It's pretty simple. Um, so this, you know, res this article helps me answer one of the questions that I had. Here's another article on that topic, but I'm also looking at Hieronymus Bosch's style. So I can try a different search for style. Now, I don't want to search for iconography and style together because that would mean that another researcher would be looking for those two things together and talk about them in the same article, and that may or may not happen. So you don't want to limit your search too much. Um, and now you can see that I've got three different results than I had before. And if I, if I like them or they're interesting to me, the same thing. I'm just going to click on them to get to the full text um, and then also to cite them. Like I said, you know, um, looking at databases, looking for research in databases can be like shopping. And I might walk into Macy's looking for a bathing suit and I don't like what they have. And so then I'm going to go down the street to Nordstrom. And the same thing's going to happen to you in your research. Some of these databases are going to have more research on your topic than others. And you can, you know, poke around in the other databases conducting a similar search. So <clears throat> Academic Search Complete, uh, JSTOR, Project Muse, these are all other sources of information on your topics. If you start feeling frustrated, if you can't find what you want, you can contact me, but you can also just click this little link over here, chat with a librarian, 
put in your name and then you'll start IMing with the librarian on duty. And we've got librarians working from 7.30 in the morning until 10 at night, Monday through Thursday, um, 7 to 3 on Friday, and 10 to 3 on Sunday. So if you feel frustrated, stop and ask for help. So I've now shown you how to use our research databases to find scholarly or peer-reviewed journal articles and also how to get help immediately if you get stuck. Um, so good luck on your project and the next time I see you I'll be talking to you about how to cite your sources according to Chicago.